Let's move on. Time for cold cash, hot commodities, where we show you how to use currencies to trade commodities. In focus this week, gold hitting yet another record high, now at 14.26 an ounce. But let's bring in a man who thinks bullion is actually headed for $5,000 an ounce. Ooh. One and only Peter Schiff of Euro Pacific Capital. Peter, always nice to see you. Uh, we had some comments from a Plosser today that moved the markets. Did he change your opinion in terms of where gold is headed? Well, I didn't hear the comments, but uh, I think gold is headed quite a bit higher. You know, the problem is it's not just money that's in motion. It's the printing presses. And as long as we're doing quantitative easing, uh, the dollar is going to lose value. In fact, you, you, you mentioned what's keeping the euro afloat. It's because you're measuring it against the dollar. And as weak as the euro is, the U.S. dollar is even weaker. You know, it hit a record low today against the Australian dollar. You guys are talking Canada. Look at that chart of the Aussie dollar. It now costs, I think, a dollar three to buy one Australian dollar. I remember a few years ago, we were buying them for 50 cents a piece. Mm. And, you know, look at the Swiss franc. The dollar hit a record low this week against right. the Swiss franc. And it, it, it was at a record low against the Japanese yen until the world spent $25 billion to rescue the dollar from the abyss. Uh, but I don't think we've seen uh, the lows in dollar yen. I think, uh, you know, you know Peter, dollar's going lower. One of the things, I mean, although I agree, I, I like the direction because Canada benefits from, you know, a higher gold price. But 5000 I mean, that's that's well, pretty yeah, aggressive. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't know what the time frame is, but certainly, oh, okay. look, for, for gold to get to 5,000, what, it's about a triple from here? Well, it's already more than tripled in the last 10 years. So, yep. I mean, could it triple again? I th in fact, I think that gold is going to increase its rate of ascent in the next 10 years versus the previous 10, because I think we're really, you know, upping the ante on the money printing. I mean, look, the budget deficits now are in the tr stratosphere, and the Fed is, you know, saying it's going to discontinue quantitative easing over the summer, I don't believe it. Because yeah, no, who's going to buy? There's I, nobody at the auctions. Yeah, Peter, I, I agree. We've been long gold for some time, and I'm still holding on to those positions. I would say, though, if we got to $5,000 an ounce on gold, I think I'd rather be buying beef jerky and farmland <laughs> well, at that point. Guns, well, yeah. look, butter, at, look that at silver. Stuff, yeah. You know, silver, silver's at $37 an ounce. You know, when we started buying gold at 10 years ago, silver was $4 an ounce. It's 37 Now, it still hasn't hit its uh, nominal high of 50 bucks. I mean, it can do that this year, but who knows? where silver's going to go. All right, Peter, got to leave it there. Thanks so much. Peter Schiff of Euro Pacific Capital. Um, you know, beef prices actually are on the rise, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been a little there's bit. No, there's no safe trade. There's no safe trade. All right, oh so let's gosh. say you are, in fact, a bullish of gold, as mm -hmm. Peter is. Mm -hmm. Rebecca, which currencies do you look at when you think of gold? Well, this is really a good lesson, actually, because a lot of the time when you think of a currency to trade a commodity,